very good afternoon to all of you systemic bacterial co-infection in hospitalized covid-19 patients has been reported to be 7% and it increased to 14% in presence of icu admission systemic fungal co-infection in hospitalized covid-19 patients are also not uncommon there are anecdotal reports on presumed intraocular infection such as endophthalmitis with this background we did a study titled site threatening intraocular infection in covid-19 patients in india it was a retrospective chart review of prospectively collected covid-19 patients data between April 2020 to January 2021 at LV Prasad Eye Institute Hyderabad and Vijayawada laboratory confirmed cases of covid-19 patients who presented to us for endophthalmitis management within 12 weeks of discharge from the hospital were included in the study data included age gender associated comorbidities detail of covid management during their hospital stay detail of the drug intake during hospital stay detail of microbiology biochemistry of biosamples a comprehensive eye examination was done for each patient and ophthalmitis was managed as per the institute protocol The vitreous sample was subjected to gram staining and calcofloor white mount. It was inoculated on different solid media in different liquid media. Species identification was done using Vitek 2 compact system. PCR for U bacteria, pan fungus and herpes virus was done whenever possible. Vitreo sample was also subjected to RT-PCR under appropriate cold chain for SARS-CoV-2 detection whenever possible. We included 33 eyes of 24 consecutive subjects. Cases of endogenous endophthalmitis coincided very well with the peak of COVID-19 in both states, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. mean interval of covid-19 systemic symptoms to ophthalmic symptoms was 15 days mean age at presentation was 53 years there were 17 males 90% had systemic comorbidities and 9 had bilateral involvement 66% had icu admission and 8 patient had used ventilator during their covid treatment Majority had anemia, thrombocytopenia, lymphopenia, neutrophilia, and raised inflammatory biomarkers like C-reactive protein, IL-6, IL-6, LDH, D-dimer, and serum ferritin. All had received broad-spectrum antibiotic. Fifty-eight percent had received tocilizumab. Eighty-seven percent had received systemic corticosteroid. The endophthalmitis uh, we included 32 eyes of endophthalmitis and one eye of panophthalmitis the clinical picture ranged from pre retinal and vitreous exuded to complete vitreous abscess and involve involvement of ocular cords and orbit mean presenting visual acuity was 0.0415 all had presented with pain redness blurring of vision we could not uh, do vitreous biopsy in five patients 14 out of 19 had microbiologically positive vitreous sample out of which 11 were fungi two bacteria and one virus 11 out of 21 had some systemic focus of infection out of which five were candidemia three bacteremia two aspergillus and one mycormycosis at a median follow up of 90 days 19 patients recovered and five patients deceased due to covid-19 related complications ophthalmic management included vitreous biopsy vitrectomy multiple intraocular antibiotic intrafungal antibiotic intraocular uh, inter, uh, antifungals and uh, sometimes silicone oil injection in presence of retina detachment or necrotic retina only 40% eyes had vision better than 2400 at the last follow up visit this is a 58 year gentleman he presented with preretinal exuded 
microscopy revealed fungal filament and the species was identified to it Candida tropicalis. This is another gentleman, 59 year, who presented with retina detachment and coronal thickening. The microscopy revealed septed fungal filament and the species was identified to be Fusarium equisetae. This is another uh, 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 65 year gentleman who presented with vitreous abscess and the Gomori methylamine silver staining and Jinsa staining revealed septed fungal filaments and the species was identified to be Aspergillus flavus. The limitation of this study is tertiary care referral nature of our practice could have skewed some of the clinical presentation and lack of denominator of total hospitalized COVID-19 patients and their systemic comorbidities and interventions. So, endophthalmitis is a rare but not uncommon occurrence in hospitalized COVID-19 patients. It is associated with high mortality and blindness. Ocular infection is correlated well with hospitalization, ICU admission, systemic therapy, broad spectrum antibiotic, corticosteroid, IL-6 inhibitors. Candida is the most commonest organism 